So here's yet another interesting film camera find. Uh, this is the Pantax IQ Zoom 70XL automatic point and shoot film camera for 35 millimeter film. And it's also known as the SPO AF Zoom in other countries or countries outside of the US. And this one in particular came out back in 1992 and uh, it's uh, one of the very popular uh, cameras that came out in as a series of cameras from Pentax from the 80s all the way to the late 90s. Uh, and they were very popular because of its portability, it's a very compact uh, type of automatic camera, it's very easy to use. And this one in particular has some really interesting features that I'll show you later in the video that really make this camera worth having right now in 2019. In the very top you get a couple of or four different buttons that you can use it for some of the semi-automatic features of the camera as well as your, as your zoom lever, level and your shutter button. In the back you'll get your power button as well as a couple of lights that will help you um, uh, use your flash or adjust your focus. And you also get a very long wrist strap here on the right side of the camera. And uh, also in the back, you press this button right here to open up the door to put in your standard 35 millimeter film uh, in, the, in the back of your uh, 70XL IQ Zoom from Pentax. That's it about uh, as far as the buttons in the, in the back and in the top of the camera. In the bottom, you also have a, a latch with a door to put in your uh, CR123 battery, which you can get from an electronics store. And I got this one from, I believe from Fry's for a really good price. It's a CR123A uh, battery. So one of the uh, things that I really like about this camera, it's really its portability. It's a really compact type of camera. It's also very narrow. It has a really good grip, especially on the right side of the camera. So it's a really good, um, a really good design for photographers on the go or for travelers if you want to play around with film photography. So uh, this type of camera has some really interesting features that I wanted to show you. So I'll turn on the, the camera here in the, with the button in the back. And uh, using the zoom lever level, you can use the zoom to um, uh, change the focal length from 35 millimeter all the way to 70. And then here in the top section of the camera, you can change up some, or you can use some additional features like using the landscape uh, feature in the top right, or to use the red eye reduction here in the top left button. Uh, and you can also use some exposure modes like the automatic mode, daylight synchronization, which uh, you can use the flash uh, during the day, Shut slow shutter, also a slow speed sync, um, backlight compensation, uh, bulb as well to in case you want to play around with some uh, longer exposures and bulb synchronization. Uh, so some really interesting features that really make this camera a little bit different to your standard automatic film cameras. And the bottom right section, to me, is the main feature of this camera. Uh, you press the button right here to select the single frame shooting and self timer. Uh, so you can take a picture and get it into the frame. Or you can use the dual frame self timer, which lets you take a picture uh, from one. The first exposure goes out after 10 seconds, the second one after 5 seconds. The third one is a really cool feature, it's, it's called the uh, auto telewide self timer which lets you take a picture with a selected focal length and after five seconds it goes into the 35 millimeter automatically and it takes another picture so that's a really interesting feature in case you want to take different looking types of selfies with a different uh, focal length uh, photos and next you can also take a consecutive shooting uh, mode which like, allows you to take a picture for uh, once every 1.3 seconds Next, I think this is the highlight of this camera. It lets you take multiple exposure photos, which not many automatic point-and-shoot cameras let you do that. This is one of the very few uh, cameras that allows you to do that, and it's a really cool feature. It basically allows you to take uh, photos, um, uh, multiple photos over the same frame. Uh, so you can get some really artistic or uh, really experimental looking photos with your camera. And finally, uh, it also lets you to take some inter interval photos. Uh, so that's your uh, your mode where you can take a picture every three uh, three minutes or one every 16 minutes. So that's it for the special features of the camera. Uh, everything else is pretty basic, especially if you just want to take automatic photos. Uh, you just press the shutter right here. And one, one of the, th the things that you'll notice here next to the viewfinder is that a couple of lights uh, pop up and next to the uh, viewfinder window. And uh, the one on the left uh, lets you know if you need uh, flash. 
So it will turn on in case the flash is needed, and in case uh, the, your picture is too dark. And the one on the right, the one that says uh, AF, will let you know if your camera is focusing correctly. And as you can see here, it, it may uh, start blinking in case of um, if, if it's not focusing the right way. So that's about it for the Pentax IQ Zoom 70XL. Uh, my, my final thoughts on this camera is that I highly recommend it. It's a really fun type of camera to play around with. It's extremely portable and easy to carry and just throw in your camera bag in case you're traveling or if you just want to play around with film photography. It has all the basics of an automatic uh, portable uh, point and shoot film camera. So it's really easy to use. Plus it has some extra features that not many film cameras out there have especially the multiple exposure uh, feature on this camera is really cool to play around. You can get some really interesting pictures with your camera. Uh, so again, let me know if you have any questions about this camera. Thank you.